Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little e-commerce site with the 2020 theme and uh, Elementor free. Today I'm going to put this little circle counter section together. Sort of computer sold type stat section. Really easy to do with Elementor, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is hit the edit with Elementor button. Now once loaded I'm going to go down to where we want to work and I'm going to delete these two sections. We've actually got two sections here. That's that one gone and that one gone and we'll start again. Okay so let's add a section. I'm going to hit the little red cross for a section there. I'm going to make it one column. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and steal this title right here. I'm going to right click on that and say copy. And then I'm going to paste it in our little section right there. And we've got our first heading and I'm going to call that computer sold. You can either do it in here or you can go up to the block and do it inside the block however you want to do it. Great. Now I don't quite want that much padding top and bottom on these things. I want a bit on the top. I don't want very much on the bottom because our next section is going to be behind there. But let's just color up our section. Here's the section tab. Just going to click on it. So we're editing the section. And I'm going to go to the style and give it a colored background. I'm just going to make it blue, light blue. There we go. And our text, I think, let's click on the little widget for the text there and we'll turn that text white style right everything else is fine uppercase everything like that so let's go ahead and do our next little section now that's going to have our number counters in it and then we'll adjust our padding and what have you afterwards so let's go back to our matrix and like I say we're trying to build this with the free ones only so we've got our basic ones here we've got the pro ones which are not using in this at the moment and now we've got a counter which I want there so I'm going to left click and drag it to where I want it which is going to be right there now I'm going to make three of these so I want three columns there's a little column it's the blue one for the section the little black one for the column there and the little blue one for the widget within the column there so I want to add two more columns so I'm going to hit add new column and one more time and there we have it we've now got three columns there fantastic okay well, while we're here I may as well style the background I want it the same color as that one so I'm going to go back into the section itself to the style color and again I'll make it that light blue color that number will disappear into it because it's the same generic color let's go back into this now and we're in the counter widget itself and I'll go in there I'm going to make the text color white and let's make that title white also so back to the content and what we want it to say this will perhaps be laptops And for the text that's fine but I want to make it uppercase and I really don't want it to be that serif font with the little flourishes on the bottom there. I want a sort of sans serif font. So let's go to our style and to the title this time. Text color is fine in white but typography I want it to be a different font. Arial will do because that's sans serif and we'll make it uppercase as well so transform uppercase great now I actually want to create a circle around here like a regular circle counter which is not automatic on this but we can do it by adding a border so let's close that one up we'll go to advanced go down to border and at the moment there's none I want a solid border as you can see it's dropped it in there color I'm gonna make it white 
I want it to be about five picks wide so I'll just put five in there and if you've got that highlighted it'll do all four at once for you now then I want to make this a complete circle so we'll first give it a border radius that will kind of make it oval and then we'll adjust it with some padding so I'm going to use percentage I'm going to click on the little percentage right there and I want to make it 50 percent all round looks like it's only 50 picks I want that to be percent there we go as you can see it's a perfect oval right there now to make this into a circle we're going to have to add some padding top and bottom to make that oval stretch a bit and a bit of margin left to right to pull it in a little bit so let's go over to our advanced tab hit the advanced drop down right there here's our margin first let's bring it in let's bring it in I don't want it on all sides I just want left and right not top and bottom so I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to give it 50 on the right and 50 on the left that's brought it in some now let's give it some padding top and bottom uncheck that one and put 50 on top and 50 on the bottom getting there I'd say we need a little bit more let's say 60 that's there we could just take it in slightly when you're happy with it I'm doing this by eye yeah I think that'll work for me obviously you adjust it to how you're happy with it then when we're happy with the shape and style I actually want to make that number a lot bigger so let's see if that's going to change anything when I put a sort of four digit number in there let's say here's the ending number that's fine don't think I want that separator in there so I'm going to take the thousand separator off we're back in the content for that yeah so I'm happy with that great so as soon as you're happy with it we can copy it over and just change a few things when we move it over so I'm going to right click hit duplicate drag one over here doesn't matter which one because they're both exactly the same then this one will be desktops and we'll give it a different number and when we're happy with that one we'll duplicate it again move it over again doesn't matter which one and this one will be all in one unit and we'll give him a different number too now what you could do is stagger them so they take more time for the higher numbers or more time on the right and less time on the left here's the animation duration let's make this 3000 which is three seconds for that one this one will make it 2500 milliseconds or two and a half seconds for this one and we'll leave that one on too so they've got slightly different times now I've got way too much gap between this computer sold and here so let's go into here it looks like there might be nothing on the bottom of there just check that out okay padding wise we've got nothing oh we've got 50 on the bottom well we can take that away for a start remember we copied this title over from the top so we can take that away and we also want to take some padding away from the section right there so let's go into the section you can see the lines for the section top and bottom there and again on the bottom just on the bottom I'm going to take that away that's fine but we want 50 on the top because it's too close to that section above that's about right and we could take some more away from this section just on the top so go to the section advanced and again let's uncheck that and let's put 
50 on the bottom should do it, I should think. There we go, so they're reasonably close there. And while we're in here, let's go to our style and we'll add a divider to this one as well, a shape divider. So we're on style, we're still in the section, in the lower section. Don't want to put one on the top, but I will put one on the bottom. And let's use something like waves with a brush I think I used before, and we'll make that dark blue. And we'll take the opacity down just a little bit so it's not quite as in your face as it is there. Something like that. And let's bring the height up to where it is you want it. You can actually take it up to the section above like that if you want to. That actually works for me. I'm just going to take it down just a slight bit. And I think we're good to go. Let's hit the update button. And preview the changes. And we'll go down to where we were. Well, there we go. And as you can see, the counter on the right took longer than the one on the left. We've got our little wave. Fantastic. So there's how to build a little stat counter, a little circle counter section for your computers. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell. Give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.